Good day, everyone. Please allow us to present the completed project headed by Dr. J.R.S. Ventura of the Department of Engineering Science, UPLB. The title of the project is Polyhydroxyalkanoate Production from Agricultural Residues. This is in collaboration with the UPLB Biotech. Plastic has become one of the basic human commodities because of its versatile qualities of strength, lightness, and durability. Its inertness, however, made it one of the recalcitrant pollutants in the environment. Plastic pollution has already been a serious problem in our world's ocean. In a study conducted by the United Nations in 2006, it was predicted that an empty ocean is inevitable by 2048. Among the plastic offenders, the Philippines is third next to Indonesia and China. Alternatives to petrochemical-based plastics categorized as chemically synthesized polymer, starch-based, PHAs are already available in the market. Note, however, that not all bioplastics are biodegradable. It is only PHA that is ultimately biodegradable. Realizing the problems that arise in the use of conventional plastics, PHA could be an excellent candidate. PHAs are water-insoluble, ultraviolet-resistant, biocompatible, sinks in water, non-toxic and less sticky, and have properties that may be manipulated by blending polymers or through genetic modifications. Since PHAs have almost similar properties to fossil-based plastics, it could be used in single-use plastics such as bottles, sandal bags, containers, straws, cutlery, and films for food packaging. PHA has a lot of applications not only as a replacement to common plastic commodities, but also to some specialized high-value applications such as in pharmaceuticals or medical fields. To show you the project's journey, the project has made a lot of developments such as the following. Identification of a well-performing local strain, collection and testing of agricultural residues for PHA production, retreatment and hydrolysis optimizations parallel to model fermentation optimization studies, production of PHAs from actual hydrolysates, improvement of the PHA product, and finally, PHA production using a 20-liter bioreactor. We have also conducted incorporation of natural fillers in PHP to improve its property without compromising its biodegradability. For the scale of production of our project, corn stover biomass was collected. We processed the biomass to a powdered form. These are the processes that were employed, undrying, oven drying, shredding, hammer milling, and cutting milling. We need a lot of corn stover hydrolysate or substrate for the PHA production. Hence, we seek the help of a third-party service provider, Taiwan Einer. This is the whole picture of the PHA production process using agricultural substrates such as corn stover. First was the biomass and hydrolysate preparation, followed by fermentation to produce PHA, and finally extraction to get the crude PHA. In conclusion, the PHA market has a potential in the Philippines. Cheap and abundant feedstock can lower PHA costs. Incorporation of natural fillers or biopolymers may improve PHA property and lower product costs. There is a need to find the proper niche for the PHA market. There are many explorable areas for the material development of PHA. These are the core members of the PHA project. Thank you for your attention.